We've been minoring since episode 7, covering major crime, season 2, episode 7, Rules of Engagement. There was a shooting at a gas station. We see a little boy and his father conversing, and then the father says, get in the car. Hail of bullets goes everywhere. A bunch of people die. And it looks like a gang shooting when we start. Find out that Rusty, that Sharon agreed to let Rusty go to Chris's house. This was a sub story. Go to Chris's house. House. <laughs> to have dinner with, and meet her parents, which seems kind of rushed to me. Yeah. And they don't, I don't, this, is Chris the only one here that thinks they're dating? Even Rusty's like, uh, no. no. But I think Chris is the only one that thinks they're dating. All they ever do is hang out at the station. That is a great relationship. I see nothing wrong with that, so stay safe, kids. So he's asking random people around the division, rather, uh, to get him out of this, or ways to get him out of this. That's Jack. T Jack tells him he'll think about it. Jack's looking on the computer for uh, different apartments around so he can stay on... No, I think he was, actually. So he can stay on the uh, court appointed attorneys list. Rusty's telling Sharon that he's not feeling good, that his stomach all... hurts. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that his stomach hurts. And uh, he don't think he can go. And I think it was something I ate. Uh, we all ate the same thing. So it's not Get yourself, let's go. <laughs> Get yourself, let's go. And <laughs> Jack's like, you're going to try harder than that. He's like, what if I, you know, pretend I'm about to faint or something like that? Uh, then she's just going to take it to the hospital. So <laughs> we saw a little aspect into that relationship at that point because things were going pretty well with them so far and then she asked Jack to be a court appointed attorney because they needed somebody, they needed somebody and then she'd take him to the, the judge to get approved or whatnot mm -hmm. right then and there so he's all excited like a little kid and Picking then they walk ties. into the uh, murder room and she immediately regrets it apparently there was a list of okay questions that yeah. she get given oh my her. god so they go into the thing, Sharon and Jack just start fighting and bickering the entire time while he, she's trying to uh, question this suspect. Rios is like, Rios can obviously tell there was something going on here. Just like how she just like, Sharon just like gets up, slams, slams the door. We never seen her out. slam doors. She was. Also, <laughs> she was mad. Rios uh, asks her in the murder room, are you sleeping with the court appointed attorney? Of course not. He's my husband. Perfect. Well, is Perfect. the judge going to be your brother? Yeah. And she no, said, my is someone sister. else going to be the gardener? Like, <laughs> good job, Rios. And then Rios got what was common to her. She got told off by. She got told off everybody by everybody in town. <laughs> Even he, he, he was a little like, bit, though. "What is your take on right? this?" <laughs> like, she kind of got the idea that you know she needs to back off. She needs to calm down. Found out it's this guy that he uh, was working security for. The guy fired him, ha hired him, the guy who he fired to kill his fiance at the time. But then the kicker was the guy had changed himself. That the found Jeebus. He found the Jeebus. <laughs> we got a little bit of Raiders religion this time around. Mm -hmm. and I thought it was really neat because they they covered here and there, but you know she's just like because this guy she can tell this but she can tell this guy has changed his ways Inches, they were like the two most perfect people to be in that room for, with this guy while this was going on with the young kid and just like uh sykes was the most perfect person to be in that room with the guy who was working security because he uh, apparently was in the military anyway the guy ended up hiring him or some stuff for ten thousand dollars for ten thousand dollars and the young kid had taken the girl's engagement ring because it was sixty four thousand dollars Apparently, replaced took out all the diamonds and put cubic zirconia, and that's how they could tell that he was telling the truth. Okay, what did we like about this? Everything. It was all really good. It was, it was good. really, really good. It's good. Like, I they loved don't it. ever do like a bad episode, really. But None this season have been this any had, I could complain about. I had about. no idea this entire episode, like episode. So. <laughs> The other thing I liked about this episode was the quote from the Raiders in the interrogation room. Jack and Sharon are there. Rios is there. The suspect is there. And Jack's telling the guy not to answer a question. And Sharon... Because it's not on the list. It's not on the list. Sharon looks at him and goes, Are you telling me that we can't ask a question about donuts? donuts? It was perfect. We I died. died laughing. I, I like how we called what Jack how Jack was going to make his exit yeah. with a note. Yeah. 
and she tore it up. So that was so good. Because you know that's this exactly how he did that. It. That was that there was nothing new that was going to be in that letter that she hasn't already seen before, mm -hmm. time and time again before. Okay, well, dislikes go. What he said to Rusty about the whole like leaving somebody that cared about you or someone leaving you that they. Leaving you hanging? Leaving you hanging. Something like that. That cared about you or that you cared about. Like, what the hell? Um, but there could have been another way of going about this instead of what he said to Rusty. Yeah, that was a little, that was a little blow there. That was... P-Dizzle. P-Dizzle. Um, Rios actually, I didn't mind her this episode. No. She wasn't bad. saying a lot. I really liked uh, Sanchez yelling at her. Yeah. Because he had every He's reason. He's over her now. He had every reason to... Yes. Because as we know on that her. other show... And she kept telling her him to, like, let her finish. Yeah. Like, like she knew all about, uh, gangs and what happens on the streets. Where Rios uh, very obviously comes from a well-to-do family. Yeah. People, other people might not think that, but that. I really think she has. Because, to, because of how she's how perceiving she, other people. Yeah. Because he even said to her, stop talking to me like I'm your waiter. As we remember on another show in Sanchez's history, his brother was killed on the streets mm -hmm. and he was in a gang. It's like, I kind of didn't like how okay, yeah, keep going. Jackson snapped at Rusty a little bit, but Rusty got the, I think Rusty saw like how Jackson yeah. was. With and that Raider kept, his that kids, and that's why kept Raider warning was him. Protecting Rusty yeah. to like, don't get close to Jack. Yeah. Rusty got the, he got the hint that this is how Jack used to be with his kids. And not maybe fully, and you know, but that he was very get away from me, you know, later, later. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, predictions. Like, if they'll touch on the whole, like, Jackson just randomly leaving like that. I don't think they will. Like, I don't think they will be, either because, or you know, say, hey, it has to Jack? do with continuity. Oh, with Next episode, we're supposed to have some Lori Loughlin uh, playing Chris's mom. So, either to Rusty. See that go down. Either Rusty hinted to them what he was doing, and since Chris's father is a lawyer, is an attorney, as he told looked, Jack, he will no, he's, he's a it. successful attorney, you know, not like you. Uh, but awesome. <laughs> the dad, if Rusty hints at any of this, I think the dad will look, look further look into it and then talk to his wife about it, and then his wife will in turn come and talk to Sharon to see like if Rusty is a trustworthy person I to be around their daughter or to say they need to end their relationship. Right. I think it's going to be one of two things. It's going to be that or it's going to be the mother notices that Rusty's not really into her daughter and, you know, as a relationship, but yeah. just as a friend. And but, um like I said, like Chris is the only one that thinks they're in a relationship. Yeah. Rusty even said that he just wanted to be friends and then it turned into this. Uh ratings. Uh, I give it a 10. I give it a 10 too. For the sheer fact, well, it was really good, and we got to see a little, we got to see how the marriage of the Raiders worked. We got to see how uh, Jack was in their marriage. We got to see Rios get her ass handed to her. On a silver platter. But we were stumped the entire episode until mm -hmm. maybe the last 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. the, that has never, that ever happened to us, ever. It might be my dementia, but it probably is. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of Flynn in this episode. He was, yeah, there was. I mean, I feel like there's always not, really. not as much as usual. I know, I love me some fun. I do. I know you do. And prevents... Prevents I have the craziest crush on those two guys. And I probably shouldn't say anything, but I do. <laughs> Don't call me. I won't answer. But send me a text message. She won't answer that either. It's okay. A couple hours later, I'll answer. I don't know. I kind of felt bad for Rusty. I felt really bad for Rusty this one, too. Yeah, I agree with you. Nobody's helping him out, room. and Sharon like kind of put him in this predicament. I feel like anyway. he's been kind of like forgotten because yeah. not forgotten, but like yeah. forgotten because Jackson's been there, and she's trying to mediate. I don't know if that's a good word for it, but she's trying to like she's deal with Jackson. Eye, she's trying to deal with Jill Jackson, time, keeping an eye on like him, pushing Rusty, like not intentionally, but like she's just trying to like keep Jackson make under wraps and make and... sure Jackson's not causing trouble. That she's not really like checking up on Rusty like she was in the like earlier in the season. I, the common question of the week, uh there was no common question of the week. Because everybody <laughs> everybody uh came onto our the uh video and onto other sources that they know where we are. They could find us. Yes. Uh, and they told us about their personal experiences and I really thought that was really cool. 
all that we know is to grow from love, where we have to love one another in order to help one another out. Of the detective and a doctor will be a little late yes. because we are going to be filming on location in the great state of New York. Uh, yeah, so that'll be a little late. You'll see that at the end of the week instead of on Wednesday. No. Really well, have... next episode we have uh, Andy's daughter's wedding. Is that? That's next this episode. episode. That's the next episode, episode eight. And we also have four more episodes left of this season before the before hiatus. This. And then we get seven. seven fall hiatus. Uh, I guess around Christmas. I don't know. They'll don't probably know come back in like September. Around there, because that's what another, another show, show does. That we do another show for. I am so excited because these next two episodes coming up are ones that we have been waiting for the entire I can't wait for time. Uh, yeah, episode nine's coming up, and that is where every single person that was famous in the 70s and 60s uh, comes oh, back on the play. television. Marion Ross. I'm more ex most excited about Tim Conway. Who? And Tim Conway. Oh my god. Who? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to show <laughs> Definitely super pumped for the next, the next couple of episodes. two episodes, guys. If you're not watching, you're I mean not watching. Sharon go into this with yeah, Flynn. She was, she was, this is gonna be perfect for the Foot and Raider uh, shippers. I'm just gonna sit there laughing the entire time. She will sit there like that the entire time. <laughs> like this, probably. Probably gonna be like it's a two happen. minute scene. <laughs> walk in the door and, and we went gonna be like, to the wedding together it's gonna be like everyone's gonna be all excited like, it's gonna be the ninjas 9, on tumblr are gonna have like 10,000 yeah 9 thousand. that's an accurate estimate too. 9 thousand 9, fan, fictions, thousand written fan fictions written about there this there might even be some written now there probably is I think there is actually comment like, like tell us what you like about our show this the one that you're watching right now tell us about what you thought of this episode of Major Crimes. Tell us what you are so excited about in the next two episodes of Major Crimes. In the next five episodes of Major Crimes. We want to hear it all, because we... Well, not the next five. You don't know we what's happening no in the next so five. Tell us in the anything. next four episodes, because that's how many we have left. I'm so upset about it. I don't know how I'm going to survive the hiatus. Watch the episodes over? Yeah, probably. <laughs>